Hello everybody, welcome to the Creative Arena. Today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to customize your WordPress default the dashboard UI to look something like this. To achieve this, we will make use of the light version of a plugin called UiPress. Yes, you heard me right, the light version of the plugin, that is the free version of the plugin. UiPress used to go by the name Admin2020. And since it's coming, the developers have done a tremendous job in upgrading the plugin. The current version of the plugin is version 3.0. UiPress is basically an all-in-one solution for your WordPress admin dashboard customization. With this plugin, you can customize your entire dashboard, profile page, admin framework, and another wonderful feature is that it makes your admin dashboard load even faster. So let's dive in and get started. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is you go to the plugin, then you click on the add new plugin, and then you search for UI Press. When it loads up, this is the, the plugin we'll be using UI Press, the light version, which is the free version. You're gonna install and then activate it. I've already done that. So once you're done with that, the next thing you're going to do is you go to your settings and then you come down to UI Builder. Yep. And uh, this is where you see all the templates you've created. This is where you can create new templates and then you can see the te all the templates that are active and then the draft template that are in your draft, this particular template which I've created. So what you do next is you just, when you hover it, you come down to this place click on the edit and then this is what it looks like this is it you can see your dashboard the your wordpress dashboard this is the interface this is what it looks like this is what it's going to look like you can see this here is your admin navigation this side the admin menu you see here this is the main dashboard area and then this is your top navigation this is your top navigation, this is where the logo is and at the top here you see this is like this takes you back uh, to your template list this is to re undo and then to redo and this shows your history this with this you can zoom in and zoom out you can download and you can that is you can export and then you can upload or import your template and then here this is where you see the template you're editing the actual template you're editing and then you can easily change the name of the template here to whatever you want you can see you can see admin template and then this when you toggle this it changes from draft to active and then you can also click on this to add new template and then this option here is for preview. You can see this to toggle for different screens. And then this here is for the documentation. And then this here is for to toggle out your layer panel. This layer panel is just like the navigator on, on Elementor page builder where you see the various uh, containers and then the content in each container. And, and so on and so forth like so if you can see then right here right here is where you see all the various blocks available blocks uh, some of the blocks are tagged uh, pro that is we cannot access or make use of them because they are available only on the pro version these are all the various blocks and then here you can see this is the pattern which the pattern you want your layout to be and then you can they have the two column the three column the four column and then the admin boiler template that is the default template for wordpress and then here is the library where you can see uh, already designed templates that you can easily add to your design and then make use of them this is it you can see various template styles and then here is the settings where you can set the template name just like I've done here and then you can set the template type which is a UI template the admin page the front end toolbar and then you can set it to active when you toggle this it is now active so if you refresh your website it takes the form of whatever design you've already designed here 
and then here you apply to this is where you select who this uh, UI is meant for and for now for the purpose of this I'll be selecting for administrator and also the super admin and then you can also select for for users and it, any any account on the website you can just search the user and the row and then you see it and add it you can exclude users make it not visible to certain users and then here is the team style this is where when you toggle the light version this is where you can set the colors for the light version the various colors for the light version and then you can toggle the dark mode you can set the various colors for the dark mode as well and then here is the uh the advanced settings where you can add your custom css classes and then your javascript if you have any you can add them there so uh next thing we're going to do is yeah so we can change the logo once you just click on it it shows you what you can do with it you can change the logo here come to style and then you select whichever logo you want and then you just replace the logo by uploading you either upload or you use uh, uh, from your library then you select what you want to use the logo you would like to use and then here you can set the dimension of the logo and yep there is another feature also that you can also do uh, here, here, this admin layout. When you click on it, uh, you come to the admin menu. Now, this admin menu here, you can set your admin menu style. You can set your admin menu style. Currently, is on inline. What this means is that you can see choose this way, and then you can set it to hover. Once you set it to hover, once you hover on anything, any of the links here, you see, and then you can select whatever you want to do with it. And then you can set it to dynamic, which is this. This doesn't look great, so we're just gonna leave it at uh, hover. And then you can set your menu di directions to vertical or horizontal. You can see, but I think vertical is much better. And then there is also another feature that that can only be unlocked with the pro version. So you can also come down here and then you select the menu option, and then here you can rename what uh, rename this uh, the titles of all the menus here to whatever you want to, it to be for instance let's rename the dashboard to let's say admin admin dashboard as you can see it's already taking effect live and then you can rename your post to let's say blogs you can name them to blogs you can even change the icon for it by clicking on this and then you select whatever icon you want it to be uh, uh, let's see this you see it's already changed here you can change the icon and then you can continue even uh, um, okay let's see this elemental here you can just change this now to uh, page page builder you can see Elemental page builder, you can see. You can even hide menu icons and make it look like this. Then you can go back. So, and now on another feature you can also do is you can just come to go back here and then come to the various blocks. And you can delete, remove any features, and then you can even add features. Take for instance, you you want to add a button. You want to add a button. What you just do is you drag it to wherever you want to add it. It's the bottom here. Uh huh. You see, and then you set what the button is for. You can design the button. Press me the button text, the link for the button. Where you want the button? What do you want the button to perform? And then if it's JavaScript, but this version is only available for the Pro version. And then uh, you can just right click and then copy it to go to settings and then do whatever you want to do and then you can just delete it here. Uh, then this is the toggle. This is the light mode and the dark mode toggle. 
you can delete this and then you can leave it it depends so once you toggle this this is what it looks like and then you can even come back to the settings as you go to your settings, you go to your team style, you can edit what this dark mode, the colors for this dark mode, you can edit them and change it to whatever color depending on the colors of uh, your, um, your the website you're working on, depends on their color and the color combination, you can just set it here and then when you go back, you save it, so this is pretty much the basics we will be covering for this uh, tutorial so let's see our live uh, template in action so what we'll do now is uh, we'll go here and then we'll open this in a new tab and let's see this is it see this is what I told you you can see uh, admin dashboard the name has been changed the blog is also been changed you can see the button change it also and then we can toggle to white you can see then we can go back to the dark mode you may have noticed also that unlike the previous the default uh, wordpress admin dashboard where, whereby every link will be loaded with a new page uh, refresh this actually comes with a dynamic loading whereby all you just need to do once you click on it, it doesn't refresh the page, it just loads the page and then you can see everything. There is also some brief settings I would like you to I'd like you guys to, to be aware of as well. So we just held down to back to the settings and then we'll go to the um, UI builder and then we'll come to site settings. So here you can set the general settings, you can set your site logo from here. You can set uh, on the site uh, logo for the dark mode also, you can set that here. And then you can also come here and then you set for uh, your admin, uh, your plugin studios, you can set it here. There's something I just that I want to show you, which is the login. You can set the login here, you can replace the WordPress logo here and set your own logo. Either you use the upload or you use the... Um, the library i'm going to use the library because i already have a logo there this logo so i'm going to add it i'm going to add it set it to medium and then i close that and uh, then the logo alignment i'm going to set it to center and then also this i'm going to use click the uh, toggle this um login team the, the the plugin also comes with the login team a modern login team that is quite beautiful so i'm going to set it and then i'm going to set the alignment of the form to center and then we can also set a login uh, background image so I'm going to select one from our library and, uh, or can I either use this or let's use something wider I think let's use this and then we'll set it to full size then we'll close it and there is also another option that I'm going to show you when you go down to uh, the settings, the advanced settings. Here you can disable the dynamic loading. If you should toggle this, what this does is that unlike um, uh, it reverts back to the normal WordPress way of loading every link with a page refresh, unlike the dynamic loading which the plugin offers. So once you toggle this, it's it's reverse back to the default WordPress um, uh, page loading. So I'm going to save this. Let's save this and let's see the settings we've done for the login. So to do that, I'm just going to first of all copy this URL. I'm going to copy this URL and then I'm just going to open a new incognito window and then I'm going to paste the URL and I'm going to load it. And as you can see, this is our new WordPress login uh, login page. So now we go back, and then these particular advanced settings that I told you about, I'm going to toggle this so you see the difference. And then I'm going to save it. And then when you refresh, you're going to see less if we click on 
blog now you see just look at it it's loading and then it loads up this is uh this i don't think this is advisable so i'm just gonna go back and set it and turn it off <clears throat> so that my my my, my admin dashboard loads much faster and um, better yeah this is it so i will be making another video on this topic on how you can use the UI press to build a custom admin dashboard UI from scratch for the benefit of those that don't know how to do that and then uh, there are chances also that by the time you're watching this video that video is already out and can be found in the description of this video or in my YouTube page so we've come to the end of this tutorial i hope this video was helpful please remember to like and also if you have any questions or suggestions as to what video you would like me to work on next please drop it in the comment section and i will attend to that and also if this is your first time on our channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you get notified first whenever i upload a new video see you on our next video bye